right, let's go ahead and create the absolute best and fastest killing PDSW528 class setup. Kind of a mouthful, but we know it as the OG T90. This weapon's incredibly satisfying to use. Let's go ahead and break down this setup. So we're skipping over the rear grip. These are gonna be completely irrelevant on this build. We're also gonna be skipping over the comb. These are not gonna be helping us out on the specific class setup. Jumping right over to the stock and we're gonna run the CQB stock to bump up that crouch movement speed, sprint speed, as well as aim down sight speed. Now we are gonna tune this to increase that close range handling by giving us increased aim walking speed by negative 2.25 and also increase aim down sight speed by negative 1.16. We're able to snap in the players and get that first shot, guaranteeing that kill. Now, we're not running an optic, but for a different attach, we are going to be changing the iron sight, so we're going to skip over this. It's not going to be necessary. We're also going to skip over the laser. These are not going to help out this SMG class setup at all. We're all, however, going to rock a barrel, and we're going to rock the defense 14.5 inch barrel. Now, you do have options to run an integrated sound suppressor, but these are gonna add so much weight to this SMG, it's gonna feel like a slug. The defense is gonna be perfect, giving us increased damage range, bullet velocity, hip fire accuracy, as well as recoil control. Everything we need on this SMG to keep it up to par with the other submachine guns in Modern Warfare 2. Now for the tune, we are gonna bump up that aim down sight speed by negative 0.27, and we're also gonna bump up the aim walking speed even more to negative 0.13. Again, we're gonna have the best of both worlds here, close range as well as long ranges. Now we are gonna run a muzzle here, which is gonna be the Syngard MK5 to increase that sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, and recoil smoothness. We're gonna have everything we need with the submachine gun build, a little quick and easy streak, and drop an MGB nuke. Now, for the tomb, we are gonna increase that bullet velocity by plus 0.77, and we're also gonna increase that aim down sight speed by negative 1.17. We can have the best of both worlds here, close range as well as long range, and we need this on the P90 build. And for the underbarrel, we are gonna rock the FTAC Ripper 56 to go ahead and smooth out that recoil pattern. There's a little bit of a visual bug here. It doesn't show exactly what it does, but it is gonna be increasing the long range capability. Now for the tune, we are gonna bump up the aim walking speed to negative 0.15, and we're also gonna increase that aim down sight speed to negative 0.31, so with the best of both worlds, close range as well as long range. That's exactly what we need on the P90. And we are actually gonna rock a rail here. The first time you're seeing a rail attachment being used, which is gonna be bumping up that movement speed, but at the same time, we're also gonna have a cleaner iron sight, so kind of a two for one here. Now for the tune, we are gonna bump up the sprint of fire speed to negative 0.17 and also increase that sprint speed even more to negative 0.35. Once you jump into the firing range, you're gonna see this weapon does have a relatively quick aim down sight and it's also gonna have very, very low recoil. Brand new setup is going to be the combat knife, stun grenade, proximity mine, and for my custom perks, I have on double time scavenger, resupply, as well as quick fix. Luckily, the reload is pretty quick. And then for the field upgrades, obviously we have pro enabled with munitions box, as well as dead silence. Now to go ahead and give the PDSW528 a try. It's a pretty underrated SMG that packs a punch. If you guys enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn those post notifications. I got two MGB nukes, let's jump right into it. All right, so we can do here on arguably the worst map in the entire game. Oh my God, I almost got my head taken off. Sienna Crossing. I don't know if this is technically the worst map. Actually, nah, what am I kidding? It 100% is the worst map in the game. The only thing about this map is you really gotta stay away from the center map. Like I am right now, let's get the hell out of there. Because if somebody throws a grenade, you're blowing up with literally the entire team. Nope, grenade goes off and it's pretty much a guaranteed kill no matter where it lands, because it's blowing a car up. All right, so, so far, so good. I get popped by somebody that's... Thank you, teammate. I was just spraying and praying right there, no cap. All right, teammate, that's all you. I mean, this PDSW has some pretty damn good range. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the recoil is low, so that really does help out. All right, spawns are flipping. 
Let's pop dead silence and try to get a flank going. I'm gonna get one right here. Yeah, I'm just straight flanking right now. Straight up. Put it middle map. Fuck it. Let's push out through this way. We got to run across the entire map again. We've lost the Put that porcel Reloading. out from behind. That's the thing here. Like, if you don't have a UAV, this map is pretty bad. Because you're kind of guessing on when the spawns are going to flip. And then you got to run across the whole goddamn map. I'm going to throw a Betty down. All right, bet, bet. I guess the nice thing about this map is if, like, something blows up a car it does count toward the nuke streak technically uh can this can this gun reload thank you let me pick up this cast off but they damn Armo side on it? What the fuck? Alright, we got ammo again. Uh I don't really know how I want to attack this. Thank you, teammate. Dude, that this is irritating. Look at this. Thank you, teammate. There's fellas like over there and shit. I don't fucking see nobody. Okay, we can probably push up. Confirming next hard point. Okay, Stand the shit's by. back here, so they probably gotta start spawning on that area. Friendly UAV on yes. Station. Okay. Friendly UAV online. Damn corner, bro. Friendly loader inbound. Pop the daddy. Dude, this is on. This is why I don't like. This is why people don't like this map. The way you have to maneuver it is chalked. Okay, I got incredibly, incredibly lucky there. Incredibly lucky. I need ammo though, which this teammate is taking from me.
Let's try to push up. Oh, fuck all that. Enemy personnel at the hard point. Hard point relocating. Stand by. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. Ah, oh, doing so much fucking running, bro. Hard point relocated. Secure the target area. Changing max. Friendly UAV uh. on station. Reloading. Enemies inside the perimeter. Got it. Oh my god. I'm literally. And I get knife. I'm literally the worst map in the entire game. We got it. Drop it. God damn. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> the PDSW on border crossing, bro. Like, you can't. This map is terrible. Oh my goodness. They're probably like, what the fuck on this map? Let's get it, baby. What do we do with the PDSW 528, AKA the P90? I don't think I've actually ever made a video on this SMG. I don't know why. I honestly forgot that this gun was in the game, like in all reality. I think it's because they called it, oh shit. I think it's because they called it the PDSW, like what? They just call this thing the P90, but Stand by. it's actually pretty satisfying to use. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it feels just like the P90, looks like the P90, and honestly hits just like the P90 from Modern Warfare 2019. So I really don't know why I've actually have not used this weapon. I was too hopped up on... The Lockman sub. Ooh. Getting chased right now. Some of the other guns in this game. These fucking riot shield kids, dude. Why are there so many riot shielders now? That's what I want to know. Why are there so many riot shielders? Is he coming this way? No. Oh. Right, we got resupply. Okay. Bet, bet, bet. Bad timing for you, boss. Okay, no, 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 no. See, that's the thing about the riot shield. Even if they don't kill you, you have to waste so much extra ammo shooting at people's like feet. It's just irritating. Because then you start missing out on kills you should be getting. That's why I don't like riot shield. We almost got clapped right there. I need to get ammo soon because I'm about to be out. All right, we're gonna have to make a push here. All right, uh, all right, whatever. You got incredibly lucky. All right, bet. Enemy precision airstrike, find cover. I got the advanced. Let's keep this moving, y'all. Oh my god. Push up over here. I mean, this gun is this gun is so unbelievably satisfying. Got across. This guy, shit. Oh yeah, I'm catching them off spawn. I'm catching them off spawn. Let's go, baby. 
up the dead silence. Oh. Alright, now's a good time to call the VTOL jet in for sure. I don't want to push up in there too, too quick. Since we have a deployable cover, which is incredibly convenient. Like, this is honestly the most convenient. Oh, shit. Mission is half complete. Secure this victory. Reload. Looks like the spawns are flipping. I can't believe I actually mapped that kid. Get up here. Let's go, baby. MGB. Next hard point. Thank you, Claymore. I should say Proxmine. Dude, this PDSW, why do people not run this gun? This thing is like incredibly good. Incredibly good. I need to get ammo though. That's what I need to get. Holy shit. Oh my god! Okay. He's got him, dude. This kid, <laughs> he's the best player in the game. Send it. Get ready. You ninety. 